So many students have asked me regarding how to prepare for the last 100 days of the exam. So in fact, you cannot prepare for the last 100 days of the exam. Always you have to keep a margin of 30 days before the exam for revision. And before 30 days will be your 100 days of preparation plan, which means totally you need to have minimum of 120 days to crack the FMG exam. So this video is intended to explain planning a perfect schedule, syllabus as well as revision strategy for the exam. So the study plan, schedule and strategy, what that actually works, that is what we are going to study in this video. And there are wide range of students who are sitting in front of the video, but this video is specifically intended for all the students that who often say that, sir, I haven't started it either. So many of the individuals, they say that, sir, immediately after the graduation, I came to India. Now I don't have any time. So I'm extremely confused here how to start and where to start and which coaching center to join, even though after joining the coaching center. So how to tackle the syllabus exactly in 120 days is what we are going to study right now. So do you find yourself procrastinating a lot when trying to study? Yes, many people do procrastinate while they study. My advisors never do tomorrow what you can do it today because at this point a very critical time in your life procrastination is the thief of your time so you have to take the chance and you have to take the call because now you are standing in the battleground if you don't fight you will bleed to death so that is the reason even if you want to die try hard in the battlefield and try as a warrior right so one important message what i want to tell everyone who is starting their journey so think yourself as a train so what is the duty of a train it has to run on the track that is railway track right no matter how powerful the engine is no matter how powerful the weight of the body of the train is it should stick to the basics which means what are the basics it should run only on two rails no matter what so those two rails for you when you are an engine or when you are a train are nothing but planning and executing so planning is one rail and executing is one rail so both has to run parallel sometimes you may plan but you do not execute Sometimes you try to execute without planning. So nothing is going to work without proper planning and execution. So if one of those rails is broken, like you're not executing or when you're not planning properly, so what will happen? The train will collapse. So the most important aspect of your preparation is the proper plan and execution of those plans without fail. And this is what each and every student need to keep these things in their minds when they are starting their preparation. So now it is better to plan everything ahead of time. You cannot plan when you are completely deep down into the water, right? So as early as possible, you have to start a proper preparation planning as well as executing it, right? So way ahead of time of your exam and spread out your study schedule way before the exam. I mean, at very first day of your preparation, you should see your goal. Remember one important thing here. If you cannot see the goal, you cannot reach the goal. So you should have a clear cut insight that yes, I can see the goal. So when you see the goal, when you're approaching towards the goal, you know way better how much is the distance. So as near you are towards the goal, you will be so much enthusiastic and the self confidence in you will develop in such a way that you try to run much faster when you are reaching towards the goal. That is the reason 
seeing the goal is very much important if you cannot see the goal if you just start your journey with a blind eyes you don't know where to go you don't know where to reach so any journey without goal is not going to work at all so in this way you will have enough time to develop a strategy when you have a goal and you can plan about a deeper understanding of topics you can plan to learn about the deeper understanding of the chapters deeper understanding of the topics is extremely important that whatever you are studying day to day in these 100 days you have to remember the entire information till the day of your exam so that is the reason you cannot just cram you cannot just do the rote learning right so there is a popular belief that cramming doesn't work that too when you are heading towards a competitive exams with such a huge amount of syllabus cramming or rote learning is never going to work out until or unless first time when you are studying even though it is hard no matter what try to understand what you are reading try to understand the concept behind it try to understand how you can integrate the material what you are studying and how you can relate to the other subjects so if you succeed doing this from the first day believe me nobody can stop you from passing and you will pass with a very flying colors so many of the students has a doubt sir which study material i have to follow there is a study material which is filled in their hard disks what they have captured from their seniors what they have saved from different sources and also they have the study material which has been obtained from the apps like propladder as well as from the marrow they also have those material and when they join in any of the coaching institute the lecturer who is teaching also will give the notes so for one subject they have five to six notes which are available and this is the most confusing point each and every student will have when they start their preparation so no matter what whether it is prepladder whether it is marrow whether it is your coaching institute notes whatever it may be stick to one single notes this is the gold standard what you need to remember guys for whenever you are starting the preparation so the take home point is do not refer too much of the study material at the same time whenever you are studying one single material believe in that material believe in the faculty believe in the tutor believe in your mentor believe in your coaching institute without belief if you study always there is a disaster which is going to come in the future so while you are culminating so much material on your lap do not confuse yourself by referring more of the review books what they are studying from neat pg aims and all those things and lecture notes or mcq books so just select one study resource and believe on it completely so now you join the coaching institute or you purchase the marrow or prep ladder whatever it is you started studying which means this is the day one of your preparation in your 100 days of marathon has been started so what you need to do during the first day of your preparation or the first day of your coaching the basic thing is whenever you are studying right divide your study time into sessions of 1 to 2 hours maximum then it is a time of short break so whenever you are studying for 1 to 2 hours of maximum time during that 1 to 2 hours also you cannot study completely 60 minutes to 120 minutes without raising your head because your glucose level in the brain starts depleting and slowly you will be losing your focus when you are looking at the book constantly for 60 minutes or 120 minutes so what you need to do first you have to select a chapter for example let us suppose that you started your preparation from biochemistry in the biochemistry what you will do okay i will start with the carbohydrate metabolism so in the carbohydrate metabolism you have to list it down okay glucose transporters glycolysis pyruvate dehydrogenase complex gluconeogenesis so like this you have a bunch of 12 to 14 topics so what you need to do is you have to divide each and every topic into small bits that is take the glycolysis you have to finish glycolysis in 25 to 30 minutes that is considered to be one module 
right one chunk we can say so after finishing glycolysis stand up drink water go outside roam breathe fresh air so after every 25 to 30 minutes after finishing one topic you have to take a small break like this you can finish approximately 6 to 7 topics maximum in 2 hours of time so after 2 hours of time then take a short break that is approximately 20 minutes to half an hour so and focusing on a single chapter is extremely important during the 2 hours also why it is important because whenever student start studying biochemistry or anatomy or any other subject take any subject so after studying for 1 hour or anything immediately they'll go back to other chapter immediately they'll go back to other subject so do not do that so when you select a subject when you select a chapter or any topic during each session stick hard to the schedule do not wander around the different subject in a single session so always your single session that is 2 hours should be focused on a particular subject chapter and the topic and always as i already mentioned always try to understand and think of multiple ways to use the same information that's one of the most effective study skills to remember the concept for the longer periods if you don't understand the topic remember that it is waste of time and you cannot reproduce the learned topic whenever the exam comes and also it is important to understand what tasks will lead you to your goal fast and effective right why this is this point suddenly came in the middle of this complete session because what is your task you have to complete biochemistry that is your task let's suppose that you gave biochemistry 7 days so how to finish the biochemistry in 7 days everyone cannot finish biochemistry in 7 days some people may finish in 4 days some people may finish in 10 days so how to stick to the schedule is very important here again when you select a subject first divide the subject into chapters so when you select the subject into chapters first tick all the chapters which are extremely important for your exam so whenever you select the subject for example biochemistry or anatomy or any subject when you are starting a subject what you need to do is first list down the chapters let us suppose you have a 10 chapters so out of 10 chapters what you need to do is first mark what are the most important chapters yes you may got like 6 or 7 are the most important chapters so those most important chapters should be your first priority now go back inside the chapters and select the topics also as i already mentioned if you select the carbohydrate metabolism you have 12 to 14 topics out of 12 to 14 topics maybe 10 are very very important for your exam so those are your priority list so what is your focus is so during that 7 days of time finishing the priority chapters and finishing the priority topics is extremely important so after finishing and all the priority topics as well as chapters think that you have two days of the time which is left over then you finish what are the left over topics right immediately don't go back to another subject whatever the time which is available which is dedicated to that subject try to use the maximum out of it right so that's why you should make a to do list you should have a to do list when you are preparing of all the topics and also what are the materials needed also you should know for example you may take a particular material for particular subject you may select a particular book for the particular subject so for that the material also should be ready before the preparation at the same time to do list of all the topics is also important before the preparation right so this is the way you can perfectly balance time effort and the outcome so planned work so perfectly planned work is better than the hard work right because planned work has a goal hard work without goal goes in vain so there's a reason filter the important topics among the less or non important ones is very very important that take you to the goal as early as possible now you selected the material you have a priority list everything is ready now you started reading what is glycolysis you started reading the upper limb anatomy you started like reading the median nerve so once you start with your preparation with a specific subject for a specific topic for each line of the text whatever you read repeat it few times 
and try to recall it without looking. For example, after reading the entire glycolysis, once you understood the glycolysis completely, so close your eyes and say, what is the rate limiting step? Yes, PFK1. So what are the irreversible steps of glycolysis? How many ATPs are produced in anaerobic glycolysis? How many ATPs are produced in aerobic glycolysis? What is the end product of the glycolysis? So like this, what are the inhibitors of the glycolysis? Question yourself and answer without looking. So as you memorize each set of text, be cumulative by adding a new information to what you have just learned. So this will keep everything within your short term memory from fading. And this is also very important for you to reproduce whenever such kind of questions are asked in the exam. And keep doing this thing until you have memorized that entire section and you are able to recall the entire thing without looking at the book and do not move on to the another section or the another chapter until or unless you have completely memorized that one because without finishing one chapter if you go to the next chapter you don't even have a confidence you'll also feel that okay i didn't even finish the first chapter how can i remember the second chapter the same thing you'll also do for the second chapter same thing you'll also do for the third chapter so don't do such kind of the most common and silly mistakes so stick to one chapter finish it then go back to the next one so this is mostly visual learning but if you are speaking aloud also so whenever you are reading it is a visual learning right whenever you are reading and at the same time if you read aloud then you can also apply the auditory learning into it so that can store the information in your brain for the longer term and also reproduce pretty quickly whenever you need that is during the day of your exam A plan a revision time after every subject is completed. For example, after finishing the biochemistry, you should have a spare time one day or two days for the complete quick revision to finish because so that what will happen is you will develop confidence when you revise the subject again and again. But that revision should not take the time of equal to that of the seven days of preparation. It should be quick and it should consume approximately 30 to 40 percent of the actual preparation time. It is like a one time reading method what you need to apply whenever you are revising. So after finishing the revision, after finishing the preparation for the same chapter, try to attempt a practice test. This is very important step because the practice test will give you an overview of the subject or a chapter regarding how much you know, what is asked in the exam, so what you have studied and what is left and how much you can apply from what you have learned during the exam. So this is what you should know to yourself. So that's how you will develop the confidence and you will be moving as a bullet towards the goal with a tremendous amount of confidence when you are solving 60 to 70 percent of the MCQs correct. Now make one liner notes. So why this one liners are very important. There are certain subjects where you cannot revise or you will not get a time for proper revision. So these are the subjects like major subjects like PSM, the subjects like short subjects also, not only major, some of the short subjects like radiology, orthopedics, dermatology, anesthesia, along with this surgery, internal medicine, obstetrics and gynecology, pathology and pharmacology. These are the five subjects, major subjects you should have one liner because you cannot study entire surgery, PSM, medicine, OBG, gynae, path and form. So these are the five subjects while studying itself. Keep a note of important topics in the form of highlighting or try to write a one liner from one single chapter. For example, if you have a 40 pages of chapter, like uh, if you take a cardiovascular pathology or cardiovascular internal medicine, so one liners will be around three to four page. So these one liners are important for the quick revision that is quick review during the final revision that is just before the exam. So doing all these things. So I don't have any doubt that you will be falling behind the success or you will be falling behind the goal. So whenever you are stick to your preparation plan execution at the same time when you have the same kind of enthusiasm and rigor and when you don't want to desist from the goal what you are trying to reach then nobody can stop you for reaching the pinnacle so at last in the section we have to discuss about 
what is the time we need to allot for each and every subject right this is the very important aspect of the video so anatomy give five days so in anatomy try to concentrate maximum and nerves and blood vessels and also some of the image based questions which are related to the neuroanatomy and concentrate on the clinical scenarios clinical anatomy because majority of the times the new fmg pattern is completely changed they are asking completely the clinical aspects so whether you study anatomy physiology biochemistry concentrate the majority on the rate limiting step in the biochemistry at the same time enzyme deficiency so concentrate on the clinical part so anatomy five days and physiology you will spend four days and biochemistry you will spend four days right so you may think so how can i finish biochemistry in four days how can i finish physiology in four days yes you have to finish because there is no time guys only 100 days are left right because i am not even counting the last one month before the exam that is absolutely dedicated for the revision that is not at all your preparation time so during four days whatever you can finish finish it off if you cannot finish few things just leave it over that's the reason prioritizing the chapters prioritizing the list is very very important then only you can finish biochemistry in four days you can finish anatomy in five days otherwise biochemistry itself will take 15 days so how can you plan even finishing the 19 subjects in 100 days humanly it is impossible that is the reason this is the most important point what i will tell you is stick to the goal after the end of the exam you will only tell me that this is the perfect preparatory plan so ever could have this so stick to this basics biochemistry four days pathology should be eight days and concentrate on the general pathology more for the fmg students and also pharmacology concentrate on the side effects of the drugs as well as the drug of choice and concentrate on cns antimicrobials as well as cvs this is very important for the students who are studying the pharmacology forensic medicine should be three days and preventive and social medicine you cannot leave this topic at all even though you have a rote learning along with the understanding just try to make the one-liners for this because the portion is huge and vast so try to make uh, one-liners at any cost for preventive and social medicine and you have to dedicate eight days so whatever may be the time you are dedicating whether it is anatomy physiology read that you are reading for the last time don't even think that i have a plan for revision i have a plan for last one month of quick review don't even think like that whenever you are studying for the first time think that this is the final time i am reading so that much concentration you have to keep whenever you are reading you cannot wander your brain to something else when you are reading you cannot understand the concept so understanding the concept is primary goal for each and every individual to crack the critical questions what you encounter in the exam right microbiology at last for five days so till now anatomy physiology biochemistry pathology pharmacology microbiology preventive and social medicine so as well as the forensic medicine all these subjects minimum to minimum you will get 150 marks out of 300 so that is the reason when you take always if you see the fmg scenario paper one is easy and paper two is very very tough so you have to hit maximum during the morning exam itself so out of 150 marks minimum to minimum you have to score 100 plus above 100 anything is called as safe score so concentrate to get maximum of 100 to 120 marks within all these subjects so first try to master in all these subjects now coming towards the clinical subjects after finishing the pre as well as para clinicals clinical subjects are very very important as of now everyone must be aware of the fact that the clinical subjects constitute a major part of the fmg syllabus right it will carry almost 180 to 170 marks so if you see the pre and para clinicals approximately 100 to 150 marks and 180 sometimes even 200 marks you may get from the clinical aspects but always be safer try to be perfect in the pre and para clinicals really perfect then you can rule the exam because almost scoring 100 to 120 even though the second paper goes really worst automatically you will pass the exam with 150 score so at this exam don't start your preparation to score 200 250 or something like that don't be overconfident because this is not a pg entrance exam 
this is the licensing exam you have to score 150 sometimes many individuals say that sir i want to score 200 230 and they'll fail getting 130 by not doing the proper preparatory plans there's a reason always your goal should be 150 anything above 150 is the par score for you right so out of all of these important uh, clinical subjects obstetrics and gynecology internal medicine and surgery you cannot leave at any cost so concentrate on three subjects you cannot even go to the exam without uh, preparing these subjects so there's a reason whenever you are starting clinicals before you enter into ophthalmology also try to finish these subjects so you will feel safer then later ENT ophthalmology or even short subjects you can finish whatever may be the time which is available so whenever you ask me about what is the order of study which subject I have to start first and which subject to end guys I always want to leave that to you but still if you ask me as what is my opinion regarding this I always say to the students please do not start your preparation with anatomy why because the moment you start anatomy you feel like it is a never-ending subject like upper limb lower limb head and neck thorax abdomen pelvis neuro histo embryo so there are so many topics are there so you keep on studying and you feel like oh my god i'm not even heading towards the final page of the subject so don't even study that right now start your preparation with the biochemistry immediately after the biochemistry go to physiology pathology pharmacology finish this as a set so always try to do the subjects in the form of a set biochemistry is a separate set physiology pathology pharmacology is considered to be a separate set so what is the set number three will be forensic medicine microbiology ent and ophthalmology these four constitute one single set so do like a set set one set two set three so do like this the preparation should be like this afterwards what will be the next set it will be internal medicine obstetrics and gynecology and surgery and when you talk about surgery immediately before studying the surgery it is important to finish the anatomy as well as orthopedics so let us consider that okay not uh, obstetrics and gynecology as well as uh, internal medicine and surgery don't take it as a complete set but first finish obg as well as internal medicine and study surgery along with orthopedics as well as anatomy so orthopedics anatomy and surgery constitute one single set so steady set wise manner so after finishing all this thing what is left over is the smaller subjects so all smaller subjects are considered to be one single set so like this in five to six sets in 100 days easily you can prepare by prioritizing the chapters topics as well as the subtopics so along with all these things what is important is immense dedication dedication so you should first of all you should feel that i should pass in the exam it is not like someone is keep on poking you someone is keep on telling you steady 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 someone is keep on telling you that you have to pass the exam as an individual as an adult as a responsible student responsible son or daughter responsible citizen you should know that you have to pass this exam at any cost so immense dedication along with the smart work instead of hard work is required right now let us talk about the timetable of the clinical subjects ENT you can give four days and ophthalmology five days is enough but internal medicine you have to give 10 days at any cost less than 10 days I don't even recommend that you can finish the internal medicine and pediatrics keep it at last because pediatrics majority of the individuals only study the neonatology because majority they feel that it is covered in uh, internal medicine but do not leave the subject alone concentrate on neonatology but study all other systems also but whatever you can try to finish in three days and along with internal medicine as i told you that surgery should be 10 days as well as obstetrics and gynecology also should be 10 days and smaller subjects like psychiatry you can finish it in two days dermatology you can finish it in maximum of three days radiology and radio diagnosis that is three days is more than enough for radiology and anesthesia yes two days you have to spend on anesthesia because it will also cover majority of the pharmacology parts yes two days is important to spend on anesthesia and orthopedics you can finish in three days because once you know the anatomy properly it is very easy for you to finish the orthopedics because majority of the upper limb lower limb as well as the if you know the bones osteology part really well you can finish the osteology part in three days right so 100 days you have a schedule right now in front of you if you calculate all yes 100 days you can finish all the 19 subjects 
don't you feel you can do this by seeing the schedule yes you can do this but just don't be scared yourself by seeing the enormous volume of the book or anything just by seeing the material you will be devastated don't do that so go chapter by chapter even a mile run will start with a single step you don't even want to take a baby single step how can you lead as such a huge marathon of your life so develop a positive attitude before start of your preparation that you can do it at any cost no matter what your attitude should be like a box of crayons that color your world right that color your wisdom so constantly color your picture gray and your picture will be always be bleak so try adding more brighter colors to the picture like entire goal by including the humor and your picture begins to lighten up so it is wonderful thing as a human being as a student to be optimistic stay optimistic because it keeps you healthy and also keeps you resilient so stay focused for your exam so that you can see the goal and reach the goal so all the best my students i hope all of you should pass the foreign medical graduate exam with flying colors with maximum scores as much as you can but consistency is the most important part of the preparation so you need to be consistent and you need to be positive so no one can stop you reaching the goal so stay focused and best of luck to each and every individual who is going to write the foreign medical graduate exam within 120 days